Well, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Lee. Uh, at present, I'm working at the University of Wollongong in the Faculty of Engineering as a research fellow. With regard to this case study, I was previously a senior lecturer at UTS uh, in uh, what was then the Faculty of Education and is now Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, mainly teaching in, a, in degree programs for adult educators. In the regard to simulations, the, I taught a subject uh, to both undergraduate and postgraduate and I think it was generally called an introduction to design and use of simulations in education. Most of all of those students were mature age students and most were in workplace roles that involved them teaching adults. I'll keep cycling back through the manual because the manual was the basis on which everything else mm -hmm. So the manual structures the classroom as an organisation, a learning organisation. The lecturer becomes what is called the senior manager and then the students were uh, by choice, their own choice, arranged into four departments and the four departments uh, represented the four stages in an action learning cycle. So um, doing, observing, analysing uh, and implementing, if you like. Uh, so they, they self-selected into four departments. Each of the departments was one element of the action learning cycle. Mm -hmm. And then within that, they had uh, task groups that all related back to the element that they were taking responsibility for. And those responsibilities always involved interconnecting with other departments. So it was very much a, uh, a complex organisation, uh, a bit of a matrix organisation, um, and um, one that was very different to any formal classroom. So one of the big issues, I didn't, well, I did have problems with, with peers, academic peers, but the big problems were always with the students making a shift from standard being taught to what expert XB required was then to become their own experts. The assessment was in three parts. One was participation because the students actually had to um, regularly do uh, uh, presentations. They had to interact with other teams. Uh, they were required to complete reports. Most students came through it with, them, with absolutely extraordinary insights into how organisations work, how they work in organisations, what kinds of behaviours they were seeing in the room around them, what kinds of emotions they were experiencing. Uh, then the next part of the assessment was weekly memos and the weekly memos were followed the pattern of only had to be one page of writing. This week I did. Uh, this is what happened because I did this. Uh, this is what I learned from it and this is what I'm going to do next. So if you're following that, it's just a one page using the action learning cycle. The, then the task, when those, me, those memos came in, one of the groups had to manage their receipt and direct them to other people to give feedback on and then made sure that the feedback loop completed so I wasn't giving them feedback, their peers were. The third assessment was a three-dimensional representation of their learning and I said it could be anything they wanted with the proviso that they gave me a one-page description of how what they created represented their learning. What people learn from them is engagement, immersion, ability to cope with complexity, ability to think in real time about their options rather than just, you know, the automatic reaction, situational awareness, uh, situational sensitivity, uh, interpersonal sensitivity, um, asking good questions, recognising that, that questions are often more important than answers. All For me, all of simulation does all of those things in ways that lectures or group discussion, lectures don't do that much at all. Group discussions can, can do some of that, but a simulation shifts people into a different dimension.